Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil, or should I say good afternoon now. It's Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's session on the uh, 9th of September 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, European markets unfazed, uh, post Draghi, even though yesterday we had the sell off given the lack of QE, um, given the uh, Given the failure for the markets to move higher, really, it's, I mean, I'd say on phase, but you have certainly have weakness, but not the weakness that we actually witnessed yesterday. So, certainly a mixed message, mixed message. Okay, so we have the FTSE down 0.2, we have the DAX down 0.3%, the CAC down 0.4%. Uh, overnight, we had the Nikkei more or less flat, the Hang Seng certainly impressive, and the Shanghai certainly lower on the back of weaker inflation numbers. So, <laughs> The market's resilience is very, very impressive. Uh, the market's resilience, very, very impressive uh, thus far. Uh, even European markets have failed to really make new lows. Okay. In terms of economic data, let's just have a look here. Uh, like I said, inflation data out of China are indicating weakness. Obviously, Chinese weakness. In uh, Aussie data, certainly weaker as well overnight. CHF unemployment rate certainly increased to 3.4%. Exports, imports out of Germany, certainly weaker as well. Industrial output from France certainly weaker, so it certainly seems like the euro certainly has started to move lower, and it certainly seems like people are expecting additional QE from the ECB. As always, bad data equals good good news for the uh, the actual market. So, uh, UK data consumer inflation certainly came in stronger than expected. So again, negative uh, print for the FTSE there. Uh, certainly a negative bias uh, on the FTSE 100 Tra trade data we had as well. Are certainly coming in on, in on the weaker side. Okay, so U.S. data later on. We have Mr. Fred uh, Rosengren certainly speaking. Uh, so again, it'll be interesting to see what his take is on the uh, the dollar and uh, potential rate hikes. Uh, again, given the two weaker inflation data out of China, I can't see him arguing that or uh, adding the fact that you have Germany as well. Um, now, uh, German exports, imports weak, French industrial output weak as well. So everything's certainly weaker for Europe, but European markets are not moving lower as expected. Okay, so again, certainly take that on board. We have the uh, rig count, which will be imp important later on. Oil, oil certainly is helping the markets. That's one of the factors why the market hasn't fallen as, as sharply and certainly has reversed its uh, its losses due to the uh, oil inventory data yesterday, certainly indicating a bullish move on oil. So again, take that on board as well. Okay, now in terms of the technical picture, let's have a look here in terms of the German market, German DAX. Like I said, again, failing to make new lows. Uh, so if I go to the daily chart for you folks, okay. You did have a bottoming tail yesterday that was put in. So again, that certainly needs to be respected. Going to the 60-minute uh, chart at the moment, the 200 MA and this diagonal trend line certainly is coming into play, certainly is helping. So the pivot low certainly seems to have been made with this potential bottoming tail. Uh, again, it generally means that the, if you have a weaker euro than the, uh, the actual... Uh, uh, the market certainly are helped, and uh, given the weaker data this morning, again, uh, certainly does seem that the market's focusing on the QE trade for now, okay? Uh, we did actually move higher and close the gap, okay, uh, until we sold off, and now we seem to be making or holding this potential low. Certainly need, is being respected thus far, okay? Let's move on to the, uh, the actual French CAC, okay? Let's have a look at the French CAC now, looking at the daily chart. French CAC, again, like I said, we did have resistance at this zone here. Uh, gap fill we did put in a bottoming tail yesterday certainly reverse in the back of stronger oil prices 60 minute chart we failed to really test the lows i was expecting the lows being tested today that certainly has failed to transpire okay and uh, in terms of french cac we certainly seem to be holding the pivot low of the morning so far so again impressive i was expecting four five hundred that hasn't transpired so again you need to respect that and understand that okay and looking given the fact that we have the aussie and kiwi now into support as well dollar into resistance uh, obviously, North Korean news certainly has rattled the markets. Okay, overnight, a weaker Chinese inflation data as well, and U.S. markets certainly weaker overnight as well. Again, it all seems to be about the dollar as well. So again, folks, a lot of variables to discuss in this short uh, video. For now, I'll just give you the technical picture. Daily chart, the FTSE. You do have a bull flag on the daily chart. The only way that bull flag plays out is if the oil price can, can sustains a move higher. Okay, We have had stronger inflation data out of the UK today. Uh, so again, it will send sterling higher. Let's just bring up the chart of sterling for you, give you an insight there as well. Uh, sterling, sterling, sterling. Where are they? 
bear with me. Uh, we got Sterling found it. Okay, so Sterling certainly holding previous uh, support, your previous resistance equals support, certainly being helped by that stronger inflation number, which again puts uh, or certainly exerts pressure on the FTSE 100. And as you can see here, Sterling rising and the FTSE obviously falling. So let's go back to the FTSE daily chart, certainly stalling. Okay, even with the stronger oil, FTSE really has failed to uh, to keep the uh, lofty or maintain the lofty heights. Again, the resistance certainly seems to be 6890, and we certainly seem to be oscillating between 6820 and 6890. So we are in the lower part, so look for a potential bounce here. Any pop on the FTSE is certainly more, more than helpful to short the FTSE. So if we see a pop, say, up to uh, 6560, or even back into this diagonal trend line that's in play, more than happy to short the FTSE around 6860, 6870, looking for further low downside again, back down to 6820, 6830. So I think I, think, I do believe that we are going to play this oscillating game. Again, like I said, it, 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 a lot of it hinges on the um, the actual. Um, a lot of it hinges on the uh, actual uh, situation in. Um, bear with me. Oh, I just need to close one of my positions. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, a lot of it hinges on the uh, sterling uh, and, again, uh, the market as well, how the markets respond. Now, one of the important things down here is that we have the S&P now back down to uh, 2170. The S&P does have gap fill support at 2170. U.S. markets certainly have remained immune to the sell-off. Uh, really not interested in US, in the uh, situation of politics in, in Europe and certainly uh, have their own uh, potential chip that they uh, that they perform on. So again, FTSE, 10 minute chart, you are into support here. Uh, until we see that, that that support resistance crack at 6.820, 6.830, and I can't see that happening with oil prices, obviously in the $47 region on the FTSE. Yes, the inflation data was stronger, and again, it can exert pressure, but we haven't seen a real sustained move in, um, in sterling, given the fact that, uh, again, Mr. Carney and, and his and co have remained very, very dovish, okay? Uh, now, I think that's a wrap. Last index. Let's just quickly bring up the chart of uh, Euro stocks and I'll call it a day. Uh, again, back to the uh, end of day analysis. Euro stocks, again, my bias was short given the fact that we put in a double top looking for a lower high. That certainly hasn't been the case ever since we put in that potential double bottom or potential bottoming tail, should I say. The markets certainly have remained strong. So, again, I will short the Euro stocks. I have exited now given the fact that we are back at a double bottom uh, and the markets certainly have uh, been resilient in closing the gap on the upside. So, so again, resistance is seen at 3085, more than happy to short the euro stocks in that region. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com and uh, certainly take advantage of that 25% bonus for all new trading accounts. If you do open it, give me a shout and I'll certainly get that applied for you. On that note, um, we should bid you farewell and I'll do an end of day analysis video as always. Goodbye now.